In this project, we're going to mine a data set generated by using a Facebook scraper on a particular Facebook page, undisclosed. The goal of this experiment is to find the most vibrant status message on that page. Learning objectives. By completing this, you will learn to use the following bash commands. Head, output the first part of files. Tail, opposite to head. Cat, concatenate and print files. Sort, sort file contents. Grep, search the input files for lines containing a match to a given pattern list. Unique, remove duplicate entries. Orc, programming language. Bash functions. How many columns and rows? First, let us find some stat about the data using CSV stat tool from the CSV kit. How the data looks like. This is often the first thing to do when you get your hands on new data. Previewing it is important to get a sense for what it contains, how it is organized, and whether the data makes sense in the first place. To help us get a preview of the data, we can use the command head CSV look and CSV cut. The CSV cut command can help us to cut a given set of columns, e.g. 1, 4, 7 to 11. Note that we have not previewed the column numbers 2 and 3, status underscore message and link underscore name, which are wider columns and wouldn't fit properly into our preview screen. How many status in each status type? Let us first calculate how many entries for each of the status types in the data set. Status types are in the column 4. To extract column number 4 from our file, we can make use of the CSV cut again as follows. Here the command line option hyphen C specifies which column to extract or cut out. Note that despite its name, the cut command does not modify the original file it acts on. Find the most popular status entry. To do this analysis efficiently, we'll use the command line language called ORC, a tool that allows you to filter, extract, and transform data files. ORC is a very useful tool to put in your bag of tricks. However, since the data set has quoted text cells, we will use CSV cut to extract the columns. E.g., we want to extract the column 1, 8 to 15, into a file called fbreactions.csv. The idea is to sum up all the reactions, columns 8 plus, plus 15, on each fb status, and then find the status which had the maximum number of reactions. To calculate the total number of reactions on each entry, status, all we need to do is horizontally add up all the numbers from the columns 8 to 15, and we do this easily with orc, as follows. Let's pay attention to the awk statement. In awk, we specify the delimiter of the file, comma, using the minus F option, which not only sums up the columns side by side, but also on each line prints two output, status ID and total number of reaction on that row. Finally, at the end of each iteration, it nulls the total equals zero to get the status with max reactions. Next, we sort the status IDs based on the number of reactions, column two, using the sort function, which tells the system to sort out the piped output numerically, minus n, on the column 2, which is delimited by commas. The final output tells us that the status, id 733, and so on, had the maximum number of reaction of total 668k. If we now use grep, we can easily find the message which had the largest number of reactions. a function to find the most vibrant Facebook message. However, we want to make it more interesting. Let's efficiently pipe all the steps shown in the previous lesson into a single command and find the message as follows. 
It's still a large command. Let's rather make a function called fbfind, which can just take a file as an argument and spell out the most popular message for us. Bash functions. Like all other real programming languages, Bash has functions, but unfortunately in a somewhat limited implementation. Some example of bash functions are shown below. Now let's get back to our project. The input argument is stored in the built-in variable $1 which does not get mixed with the built-in column variables in awk, e.g. $1 to $15, our case. We will be able to run our bash function as follows, instantly get the output. As you can see, one custom function written in just one line found our desired output, the most popular message in our dataset. In this project, we have learned two more important aspects of the bash functions and the use of awk programming language in the context of mining a CSV formatted toy dataset consisting of Facebook messages and their statistics. We will reuse these commands in a more complicated format in the coming projects.